Hello, and thank you for choosing Dynas One Systems. The following video is designed to help you identify each component of the Dynasplint, demonstrate the fitting process, and provide a general review of the treatment protocol. Please remember that just as each animal is unique, so is each treatment. This video is only a guide and should not replace the assistance of your Dynasplint consultant. Thank you for choosing Dynasplint Systems, where we hope to stretch beyond your expectations. Your Dynasplint will arrive fully padded, labeled, and ready to apply to the animal. In the box, you will also find photographs, written fitting instructions, as well as a treatment schedule that your Dynasplint consultant has developed specifically for your dog. You will find additional padding that can be used throughout the treatment process, an adjustment tool, as well as the FedEx prepaid label. Please save this FedEx prepaid label as well as the box as you will need them when you and your Dynasplint consultant have determined that your animal's treatment is complete. To fit and apply the canine extension Dynasplint on the stifle joint, hold the Dynasplint system up against the dog's leg to check the length of the proximal and distal struts. The cam should line up with the middle of the stifle joint. The proximal struts should extend as far up the femur as possible without causing irritation to the groin. The distal struts should extend as far down the tibia as possible without coming in direct contact with the hock joint. To adjust the length of the struts, you will find set screws covered with electrical tape or a pull pin and lock adjustment on the proximal struts. On the distal struts, you will find Allen screws. The adjustment tool has an Allen wrench under the red plastic cap. Loosen the set screw with the other end of the adjustment tool. Only a few turns are needed so the screw doesn't fall out. Slide the tubes within each other until you have achieved the desired length and then tighten the screw. Using the electrical tape, recover the screw. This will ensure they do not walk out. What you do to one side, you must do to the other. Some Dynaspun systems have a pull pin and lock adjustment. Simply pull the tab and slide the struts within each other until they click and lock into place. The proximal and distal struts on the extra small and small Dynaspun systems are not adjustable. Your Dynaspun consultant has labeled the cuffs front top, front bottom, back top, and back bottom. Follow these labels when applying the Dynaspun system to your animal. To apply the Dynasplint, open the back top and back bottom cuffs, as well as the two counterforce straps. Bring the splint around the front of the leg, lining the cam up with the middle of the joint, while also making sure that the top wing pads are hugging either side of the leg above the joint. Loop the back top cuff through the D-wire and pull snug. Then, tighten the front top cuff. Next, pull the distal struts up toward the tibia, lining the wing pads up on either side of the leg. Loop the back bottom cuff through the D-wire and pull snug. Then, pull the front bottom cuff snug. Finally, go through each cuff, pulling it snug once more, just to ensure the splint will not rotate or shift on the leg. Once the splint is tight on the leg, bring the counterforce straps around the front of the leg, looping them under the opposite strut and pulling snug. Add vet wrap to the top and bottom cuffs to prevent the splint from slipping and discourage chewing. To remove the splint, first remove the vet wrap. Then undo the back top cuff and back bottom cuff. Once the splint has been removed, be sure to fasten all the Velcro straps in order to maintain the proper orientation. Your Dynasplint consultant has preset the initial tension on your dog's splint. If, and only if, the individualized treatment schedule calls for increasing the tension, it is done in the following manner. Insert the silver screwdriver into the hollow end of the proximal strut. To increase tension, turn the screwdriver to the right, remember righty-tighty. And to decrease tension, turn the screwdriver to the left, remember lefty-loosey. Because the Dynasplint system is a bilateral tensioning device, what you do to one side, you must do to the other. The window with the red or blue scales on the distal strut shows the tensioning setting. Be sure they match. The Dynasplint should be worn one to two hours initially. 
wear time can be increased 1 to 2 hours daily until 8 to 12 hours of wear time is achieved. The Dynasplint system can be worn at night or during the day, whatever works best for both you and your animal. Please follow the treatment schedule your Dynasplint consultant has included in the box. Upon removal of the splint, check the leg for any signs of irritation or swelling. If your dog experiences soreness or stiffness for longer than 15 to 20 minutes, please contact your Dynasplint consultant.